Platte Valley leads Brush 1 to nothing as we head to the second inning. I'm John Beltran, live from Sunset Baseball Field. The 12th game of the year for the Bean Diggers. They're 3-0 in Patriot League. All the wins on the road, 5-4 over Highland, 12-4 over Yuma, and 13-6 over Weld Central. The Bean Diggers this week will play quite a few home games. They are on the road tomorrow against Eaton which makes this game against Platte Valley extremely important. Going 4-0 into that Eaton game would be huge, and the fastball's taken low and away. Maybe took something off of that to the right-handed hitting Jake Nybauer, the third baseman for Platte Valley. Brent Hammer, the beat digger right-hander, looks in for the sign, the pitch. That's right there for a strike on the outer half at the knees. It's 1-1. One Hammer nearly got out of a bases loaded situation in the first unscathed, but he allowed a run and the pitch. And that is taken just a little bit low and away. Two balls and one strike. Two balls and one strike to Nybauer. Wind and pitch. Swing and a miss through the fastball right by the Platte Valley third baseman. It's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Hammer looking for his first strikeout. The pitch swung on, tapped foul down the third base side. Tried to jam him, and the count stays at two and two. Rockies and Diamondbacks following this game on 10-10. Boy, hope to get the Rockies on deck at 6.05 and first pitch at 6.40 from Coors Field. Two and two to Nybauer. The pitch. Swung on and hit on the ground on the right side and fielded nicely by Hammer. Throws to first and retired is Nybauer on that little number. One down in the second inning. Yeah, if that ball gets by Hammer, it's going to be a base hit because Mares would have not had enough time to get to that baseball and flip to first. And that was the pitcher's ball, and Hammer did his job. Here is Brandon Gearing. The first baseman who just robbed Boiler of a base hit. And that's a fastball for a strike at the knees. It's 0-1. No balls and one strike. Wine and offering. Took something off it low and away. One ball and one strike. Hammer gets the sign. Garcia sets up outside the offering. Swung on and fouled back. Count goes to one and two. One ball, two strikes, one out. Top two, one nothing. Platte Valley. They scored their run in the opening inning. Hammer ready. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. And Hammer strikes out Gehring on a fastball. Two down in the second. First strikeout for Brent Hammer. And here is Tim Hard, the left fielder. Another right-handed hitter for Platte Valley. Steps away from that play. That means Hammer will try to utilize the outside corner and does with that pitch and just missed. One ball and no strikes. Now Hard gets a little bit closer to the plate. And the pitch way outside, 2-0. Went with another fastball. Two and zero from Hammer to Har, swag and a miss threw it right by him. Two and one. Yeah, Hammer's retired four in a row, so he has gotten through his early struggles. And the two one pitch, outside corner took something off it. That's a strike at the knees. It's two and two. Hammer trying to get these guys out. One, two, three. Line in the pitch. Swing and a miss. And Hammer strikes out hard. A fastball down at the knees. And the inning is over. One, two, three for Brent Hammer and the Beat Diggers. Let's head to the bottom of the second. It's Platte Valley one. Brush nothing. You're listening to Brush Beat Digger Baseball on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. <laughs> 